Welcome back to the Tool World Podcast. I'm your host, David Ju, and I'm here with Master Ju. And how's it going today, Mr. Ju? It's going pretty well. Pretty good, all right. We're probably looking at this one. It's going to be, well, if you guys didn't know, we film these in bulk. Should I Shh. say that? <laughs> Don't say that. <laughs> That's why my hair is like this all the time. <laughs> um, just because we're pushing out so much content. No. This is the only way that we can do it. We're coming up to 2023, and we're going to end it off with a fun little thought here. And this kind of comes back to one of our previous videos. What if I hit somebody with a twin kick in sparring? Do you get more points? Do you get more points? If you want to go back, go back and watch um, those videos on our toolworld.com slash podcast. That's right. That's, um, we've moved our tool world to its own uh, website. Yeah. And all I think all of them, or most of them, have now been posted on that site, and you can access it. There's no cost for that, right? Unless you want to access the Tool World Plus, but all the podcasts are um, available to anyone. It's uh, ToolWorld.com. Right. And so today I had the question <clears throat> of, what if I hit somebody with a flying spinning kick? Should I get more points for that? Let's not say not like a back kick or a flying reverse hook kick. I'm talking more about like a, a 360. Should I get four points for hitting them in the head? Well, or what not... about a 540? Shoot, those, those techniques are hard. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Is not only is it hard to do, but it's hard to hit somebody too. Absolutely. And so should you? That would be, um, I would say yes. That's kind of like figure skating. You know, you got these... Sow cow, you know, double <laughs> sow cow sow. and quadruple sow cow. I'm, I'm not really sure. I thought that's what they called them. I don't know. Whatever they are. <laughs> but you know what I'm talking about. They're these spins in figure skating. And some, and some of these athletes are really, you know, pushing the limit of what they can do compared mm. to what they were 40 years ago. And so they're giving more points for these technique. Mm -hmm. And so why not? do that in Taekwondo, for sure. I think um, adding these type of techniques, what would, what would happen to the sport itself, right? Well, when you look at, like, when you look at gymnastics or ice skating, that's all individual based. So True. If, if you had a form that introduced more spinning or harder difficulty techniques like that, then does Taekwondo almost become more like gymnastics? Well, I wouldn't say it becomes more like gymnastics, but what it might do is that you might see more of these techniques. Because if I know that I can get higher point values by doing these techniques, I might mm -hmm. end up doing it more than just all these punching. Right. Right? Um, if I only get... So what if you change the scoring system? In sparring. In sparring. Yeah. yeah we'll, we'll talk about sparring. But if you change the scoring system in sparring, well, like you maybe only get a half a point for a punch, mm. but I get, I get a full point by doing a kick. Now, mm -hmm. what would happen to it? Right. Maybe you won't see as much of the hand technique, but you might see more of the kicking techniques, right? Mm -hmm. Especially if you're getting five points for a, a spinning 360 um, kick. Right. You might see more of that than you would um, than punching. Mm -hmm. um, Is that bad? I, Is that good? Is it good or bad? It depends, right? Mm -hmm. It depends on what you want your sport to look like. Right. Because well, your sport always changes based on the rules. Right, exactly. It doesn't exactly. matter what it is. Yeah, right? exactly. I mean, that's why you, when you look at, like, when you talk about electronic vest, you know, the, the sparring on what, what's going to happen. You, you might want to protect that vest part, right? Yeah. <laughs> right? Or, they, or if they, you can, they do different kicks. To, the kicks to delivery hit to hit that right. vest. Right. Or if you can't punch someone in the head, well, then obviously... I don't have to keep my hands up. The way we spar will, will definitely change, mm -hmm. right? Right. If you get more point value for a kick, then you're going to see more kicks, I think. <laughs> so, <laughs> right. I mean, we look at, like, I think if you ask most people that have been around in Taekwondo, that you'll see that the way we spar today is way different than what we saw 30 or 40 years ago. Mm -hmm. Right. And... Uh, not necessarily bad or good. It's just um, it's mm -hmm. just the way it is. It's, it really comes down to the rules, mm -hmm. right? The way that I kind of see ITF sparring is it's almost kind of like 
kickboxing? I don't know the, the scoring system for kickboxing. Do you find that to be true? I think we see a lot more of that boxing kind of ideas today mm -hmm. than, than um, before. And I'm not saying that there wasn't punching before. Mm -hmm. I just think that um, we see a lot more of it. Mm -hmm. Why is that? Uh, that's a good question. For me anyway, I, I, because of um, martial art or kung fu or start to build a mom momentum in mm -hmm. the 70s and, and it was just kind of cool to kick. Yeah. Right? It's still cool to kick. It is still cool to kick, but it's, it does take a lot more effort. Yeah. And it's a lot harder in a way. And in some ways, I can s score a lot of points by punching. That's a problem, I think, with um, how do we score techniques? Like, do we score <laughs> to the head? Mm -hmm. All these fury of punches, mm -hmm. right? Or because the rule should be, the rule says it has to be a clean, Technique, mm -hmm. distinctive technique to its target. Right. Now, are those a clean technique or is it kind of like a not really? Mm -hmm. I mean, <laughs> if you knock them out, that's, right. that's uh, yeah, you can't argue with that. Right. Right. right? But if it's, um, when we're talking about punching, should it, the arm has to be fully extended mm -hmm. and making contact, not full contact, but making contact, mm -hmm. right? Well, then it comes up like if I do three punches and they all full extend, do it, does that person get three points or just I, get one point? I, I would score it three points. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. But when but I then see what about this, the flurry? I, yeah. I don't. Yeah. Uh, but that's me as an umpire. Mm -hmm. Right. And every, every umpire is a little bit different. Right. But then if you limit it to only one punch, then you're going to look like the WT kind of. Karate? The punch to the body? Oh, that, that becomes like a points, points flying. Right. 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 So the changed. rules change that, right? Mm -hmm. And so if I want to encourage, all I'm saying is if I want to see more kicks, encourage them by giving them more points. Right. Or well, if you want to see uh, harder difficulty kicks, yeah. give and them more points. Give them more right? points. If you want to see more downward kicks, give them you more give points. Them more points. <laughs> if you want to see more reverse hook kicks, give them more points. And if you don't want to see all of this, um, what do you call it? Uh, they call uh, Americans, uh, what do they call Americans? They just- Brawlers? Uh, brawlers, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's it. Yeah. If you don't, don't want to see that so much, then give them less points. All right, well, let us know your thoughts on, should they get more points for spinning around and hitting somebody and, or not? Let us know your guys' thoughts. And as always, have a great 2002. 23, we'll you mean. No, no, no. I'll, we'll see you what? guys in 2023. Oh! oh. <laughs> Don't forget to be safe. Keep training. We'll see you guys next time. Take one.